My dear brothers and sisters, mga inigugma diha ni Kristo. Today is Palm Sunday or Passion Sunday, the beginning of the Holy Week. Why Palm Sunday? This is because we commemorate Jesus' triumphal entry into Jerusalem, wherein the people welcomed Him with palm branches or palm fronds, singing, Hosanna, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. It is interesting to note that classical art used the palm branch, signifying victory. The other symbol being used is the crown of flowers or laurel leaves. Rightly so, the Palm Sunday liturgy ushers us into the celebration of Christ's victory over suffering, sin, and death. Moreover, in medieval and later art, the palm branch became the symbol of choice for identifying martyrs. We see this in the images of some saints, such as our very own San Pedro Calungsod, Saint Agnes, Saint Lucy, Santa Maria Goretti, and Saint Lawrence. This brings us to the reflection that Palm Sunday could also mean that Jesus is the King of Martyrs. He is the martyr par excellence. He is the very reason why the martyr saints had the courage to offer their lives in giving witness to their faith to the point of shedding their blood. That is why our practice of bringing home the Blessed Palm France reminds us of the victory of Christ, our King. Why Passion Sunday? The dictionary defines passion with a capital P as the suffering of Christ between the night of the Last Supper and His death on the cross. So it is called Passion Sunday because the Gospel for today narrates to us the sufferings that our Lord endured, which we remember during the Paschal Triduum, from Holy Thursday, Good Friday, and Black Saturday. It is a preview of what we will commemorate in the liturgy during the weekend. On the other hand, it is likewise worth mentioning that passion also means intense, driving, or overriding feeling or conviction. Isn't it that Jesus' passion for the salvation of sinners, His passion to do the will of His Father, and His passion for the kingdom of God to reign that led Him to the cross of Mount Calvary? Yes, this Passion Sunday is all about the passionate love and the suffering of Jesus who willingly journeyed to Jerusalem for the consummation of His saving mission. By the name itself, Holy Week is a week designated by the Church for us to spend more time in prayer as we reflect on the passion of our Lord to do acts of penance as we unite ourselves in His sufferings on the cross and to relish the holiness, the sacredness of these days. The different prayer services and devotions such as the Stations of the Cross and the Visita Iglesia is an experience of journeying with our Lord and with our loved ones and friends who usually come home to spend the Holy Week with us. We thank the Lord that face-to-face -face confession or confessions are now possible since this is the time of the year when many of us would line up to avail of the sacrament to be reconciled with God. 
We also participate in the retreats and recollections offered in the parishes and in the different media platforms. And this helps us dispose ourselves to the mystery of Christ's redemption. Indeed, there is no other week in the year wherein we spend more time and intense prayer than on Holy Week. And so as we participate in the liturgical services, may I invite you to join in and enter into the journey of our Lord more actively and more intimately. With this, I would like to propose two important words for us to ponder that could be of help in our Holy Week journey towards the celebration of Easter. The first word is constancy. All throughout the journey of Jesus, we see his unwavering constancy in the fulfillment of his mission. Despite all temptations, odds, threats, and dangers, he remained constant. He always called on his Father. He communed with him every step of his journey. The agency or rather the agony in the Garden of Gethsemane, the scourging at the pillar, the crowning of thorns, the carrying of the heavy cross, and the crucifixion did not deter him at all because he is rooted in the love of the Heavenly Father. The constant awareness that he and the Father are one is the key to the second word, which is fidelity. Fidelity to his mission, no matter what the cost. Maybe his fidelity led him to the cross on Mount Calvary. The cross is the icon of Jesus' fidelity to the Father and to us whom he came to save. My dear brothers and sisters, following Jesus, our Lord, not only during Holy Week, but every day of our life entails constancy and fidelity. Constancy in our desire to do good, constancy in striving for holiness, and fidelity in the fulfillment of our respective mission, depending on what our state, of life demands from us. As we experience the various trials and challenges that come our way, may we be strengthened by the thought that we have a loving Father in heaven who accompanies us in our journey. We have a loving Father who assures us of His constancy, His fidelity, and above all, his boundless mercy that can never be surpassed by anything nor anyone in this world. May we truly have a meaningful and spirit-filled holy week. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.